Hey everybody, Chaim here back with you. I'm going to go over a little bit of a thing that I found on the temple in Israel, why I think most people are wrong. And we're with 95% certain, I believe, that the Holy of Holies in the temple once was, and even how it was situated. So on the screen that you're looking at in front of you are the four major proponents of the theory where in the Temple Mount the temples once stood. Originally built by Solomon, Babylon overthrew it, Zerubbabel rebuilt it, Herod remodeled it, overthrown in 70 AD okay, through extensive remodeling and stuff. I don't have number five in there, City of David. City of David is disqualified based on where they found the trumpeting zone, uh, trumpeting stone, excuse me, and various archaeology absolutely rules out the City of David. So anybody telling you that is either really kind of ignorant about the archaeology and uh, what the Fortress Antonio was and wasn't, or they're flat out being dishonest and they're just looking to uphold a very bad theory. So that one's out of there. So where was this temple? Process of elimination. Okay, let me show you a couple of things. So we could try to figure this out. One, which is very interesting. This is a layout in Baalbek, Lebanon, but they found the Temple of Jupiter that Hadrian did build one on the Temple Mount, about 135, after the Barcoba Revolt, when Barcoba was defeated, and that was a really bad stuff for my people. If you look it up, it's called the Barcoba Revolt 132. Rabbi Akiva, if you want to look all that up, you could read about that unfortunate uh, piece of history in Jewish history. Pretty bad. So here, after the victory, uh, Hadrian built his Temple of Jupiter up there. So he raised, he raised the Temple Mount about 50, good 50 feet of dirt and backfilled a lot of stuff. And that's what it looks like. Notice on the left, the actual temple was there. And on the right, there was an octagon or hexagonal, excuse me, a hexagonal type of courtyard. Uh, in, in, actually, not a courtyard, but a, a secondary building that was in between an empty courtyard. Find that interesting? You should, right? Okay, well, let me get to this, this picture. See that right there? Look how that lines right up with that. See, the Dome of the Rock is octagonal. But Constantine, in the year 300 or something, built a church up there that was a octagonal church. And the al Moscas they, they built over the remnants of the actual Temple of Jupiter. And here, Constantine built his church over that, which was built on top of that by the uh, Dome of the Rock. So let's take a look at something they're doing in Iraq. You see the empty spot? There's your clear evidence right there. You see that white? The outer white's also an octagon. That was Constantine's church. He built that on top of the hexagon. Whoops. Why did that do that on me? Pay attention to what you're doing, dude. This is... Stop the... Stop your thing. Better put it on pause. Okay. So that, I counted eight sides there. So that's where the a f a former foundation of Constantine's church was. They believed they were building on the Holies of Holies. But no, I'll show you why they weren't. And why the Dome of the Rock I is wrong for several reasons. One, you see where it says large court right there? Okay. That area right above, stop doing that, man. Put it on pause. That area right above. There are steps to the Temple of Jupiter right to the right of that. That's where Hadrian in Balbek, Lebanon, put a statue of him riding a horse. And the Emperor Hadrian, blah, 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 all honor the king, whatever, right? Well, the rabbis record back in after 135 that on top of the Holy Holies, the exact spot where the Holies of Holies were, for my people, he, Hadrian built a statue of him riding a horse, like just like with Balbek, Lebanon. Okay, that, that area would be right here by the Alcas Fountain, which would be on this map, would be C, where you see C on that map, that would be C on the map. Interesting, right? And an overlay. David Kimini, a famous Jewish uh, rabbi and a commentator, visited the area after these, uh, the Dome of the Rock and the um, already built and the Al Mosque. He said, to this day, the nations or the Gentiles have not built over our holy place. They haven't built anything on top of it. There wasn't anything on top of it. Although just the Holy of Holies with Adrian's idol, that was long since gone after that. At that point, it was around 11, 1200. 
there was nothing built there. The courtyard was not built. It was an empty courtyard. It was built around, but not on it, any area. So that lines up with that. Right? So in Norma Robinson's theory, which she goes with C, right here saying the Holy of Holies was there, right? That doesn't line up with the ball back or anything makes any sense whatsoever at the Temple of Jupiter. He wouldn't put the statue all over there. There's no evidence. He always put it in front. Roman emperors always did that. And there's evidence in Baalbek, Lebanon. It's right here where he put his statue. And it, the rabbi said his statue was right on top of the Holy of Holies. And here you have the hexagonal shape, like I showed you here, which is built. That white area you see there, that's light. That was Constantine's church. And there, afterwards, the Muslims built their Dome of the Rock. And going down that way. So, let's get on a couple of things. So, we've established something really interesting there. Now, let's take a look at this. Now, if you look, this is what Norma says the temple was, again, her area in D, which she makes a good case, but I don't think she's right, although she, he makes a better case than most. She puts it, temple there to the left, Holy Holy's right outside where the Al Mosque is. Okay? That would have been where Hadrian's statue was, and that makes no sense with, again, the layouts of the temples of Jupiter throughout Rome. So, when we go up, see the arrow pointing there? That was where the water came into the temple. Notice where it comes in. Right past the Muslim fountain, where I believe the Holy of Holies was, goes another 20 feet and stops at where the altar would be. Notice it's on an angle. See, it's on an angle like that? Now, Norma's view doesn't make a lot of sense. Why would they build, why would they run that here when they could run it here and just right there? Why would they run it here and build, go that far east? Right? You're going uh, that far east and north of the actual area? Makes no sense. You're all, it, but she can't follow. There was a pool here, but, but she has no evidence of that. She's speculating that, but the, uh, she, oh, they clogged, they, they, they closed all the cisterns off. Well, we have a very clear evidence here of a main cistern running right under where I say uh, the temple was, the, which is number C, the Alcast Fountain, where the Holy of Holies was. Runs directly underneath that. Now, here's some other evidence. Norma builds her model. Now, this is the Red Heifer Bridge on the left. Okay. She builds her model. It's a straight bridge. And there's something that's really interesting about this, too. Okay. See the Fortress Antonio in the upper right-hand corner? And then there's a moat. That moat is too far away, which means she has Fortress Antonio a little bit too far south. You have to move everything in this picture up to butt against the moat. If you were to do that, this temple here ends up in the right area where it should be. That's one point. Two, she has this bridge straight. Let me show you why she's wrong on that. You're going to find this really interesting. Where's the picture? I think I don't have it here. We're going to go to Zechariah's tomb. Oh, I do have the picture there. Wait a minute. Hold on. Here's the tomb right here. So Zechariah's tomb, I circled it on the right there. Uh, there was a, it's not really a tomb, but it was a monument built, uh, in, in that area it was built up a very, very long time for, it, actually it was finished in the first century of the common era, but it was, began the building of it, it was like 6, 7, 100 BC, okay? Notice how it's angled. See that, it's an area, you have to, I need more pictures of it to show you, but it's angled there, Okay. It's not straight. If it why is it angled? If it was normal, it was right. It would it would be straight bridge there. I believe the bridge of the red heifer bridge was right there. It was built underneath it. Notice when you put it on the straight line, it matches right up with this, with where I believe the temple was. That matches right up, and it tilted. So they had a red heifer bridge that was tilted. Now this is what's interesting. That lines up directly with what? With this. See the water. That line here, it'll run straight. If you take that straight line and go right down to um, Zechariah's tomb, now why is that? Well, that's dudes. That is exactly true due east. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Though. Now a couple other things. So we looked at that. Okay? We showed you. I showed you this. This is interesting. What Rabbi said. That which is. Mm -hmm. So there, that, 
Normal just is straight. I it's not straight. It would be would be from here go like this. This is where the temple was, not here or there. And it, it was tilted, not whoops. Not straight like that, but tilted. The complex itself was straight, but it was a slight it, how to explain this. It was slightly tilted. The complex. Where's the mo if there's another picture that I don't have that shows the Antonio was tilted. That was also tilted to the right, Antonia. Maybe this picture would show it, where the moat is. It was tilted in a way where the moat actually was, it, it was actually one, two, yeah, tilted a little bit, actually t tilted to the, no, to the right. And then you'd have to, I'd have to show you the picture of the moat. The moat would build right in front of it. The, the Fortress Antonia, okay, and the temple itself, it's not square like you see on this picture, on this temple mount here. That's not how it was. They it was actually both of them, the moat was right here. Okay, the Fortress Antonio was tipped like this, going down this way to match up the moat. Fortress Antonio like that. So what you had is one, two, three, four. It was slightly tipped down to the right, just along with the temple. So it's an optical illusion that you're seeing here, the way this is drawn. It's not right modern days. You have to think in 3D in ancient times. So we've established that. We've established that. And you can see how that lines up. The main thing that I will propose to you is, Normus, although Norma's is a really nice person and her theory is interesting, this makes zero sense why you would run a line of water there just to bring it back over here. But it lines up perfectly with uh, the the El Cas Fountain Theory, which is obviously I didn't come up with that. That was a, a guy named, an architect named Tuvia Sagif. He's a, a Arab Israeli who came up with that, with the idea of that, an architect. So, and I believe he's right. Norm would say, well, it doesn't fit her measurements. Actually, it, if you use the measurements of 750 by 750, it does. She's very heck bent on it. Oh, it has to be 600 by 600 because Joseph, Joseph says that. No, well. He says it was 500 cubits by 500 cubits. Scholars don't agree exactly what a cubit was. There's different opinions on what a cubit was. It could be 600 by 600, 750 by 750, or 1,000 by 1,000. The Mishnah suggests 750 by 750, according to Jewish Holic, which is weird. That makes no sense where they place it either. But 750 by 750 absolutely works, and it fits in enormous 32. It just moves a temple. Instead of here, it moves it in its right place up here, tilted. It just moves it up a little bit. Everything moves a little bit up and to the, uh, because it's tilted, it moves up and to the north and to the east where you move everything. So that's how you would have it. And that would be where the temple is. I feel that in the future, they're good, if they're going to build another holy place and there's some miraculous thing that happens from outer space, and I've talked about that before, uh, they might build a temple in the wrong spot. And if they did that, and they started offering sacrifices in the wrong spot, one could argue that's the abomination and desolation. Another fact I like to point out for the Dome of the Rock not being where the holy place was is Jewish temples, and for this particularly, in this case, an alt okay, let me back up. Jewish altars where there were sacrifices were never built on the highest hills. The highest hill was always considered the high places of pagan sacrifice. They were never built there. The area that I'm proposing where the temple was when the holy place stood actually is a little bit it goes this hill is the oval hill it goes up up and then it dips down a little bit before resuming up it's a valley it's a natural threshing floor it's where you would have a threshing floor which is where the area was supposed to be you know so i'm 98 percent sure actually that i'm right about this and that guy uh sagoff's view view number c is the correct one actually where the temple once stood so uh my people the jews Interesting enough, again, they say it's a dome of the rock. If that's the case, how can we, when you're at the Welling Wall, right, it's right to the exactly due, uh, due west of number C here of the Al Cast Fountain, why would they, why do they pray straight forward? Why don't you pray to the left or pray to the right if Norma's right? Why are you praying straight forward right at the Al Cast Fountain? Subconsciously? They don't even know why they're doing it. <laughs> but they, the rabbis are teaching them that the temples are a dome around here. Huh? Does that make sense to you? Why aren't they facing to the left then when they're praying? It's not where it was. 
A dome that that's a pagan high place. <laughs> what that is, and it's not where that was. The Fortress Antonio was right here, and it was tipped like this. It was a weird how it was tilted. Actually, temple tilted down. It was. It's hard to explain. The moat was here. I'd have to have my friend draw a picture of it to draw it right. But based on all the stuff, there you have it. If you care to know, have a good day. Bye. God bless.